So for order of operations problems, uh, you either used GEMA last year or please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. So let's go through that really quickly. Uh, I'm going to go with PEMDAS because if I don't say PEMDAS blaster, Jack Scott will not pay attention. That's right. All right. So uh, PEMDAS, we have P E M D A and S. Uh, what does P stand for? Parentheses. David? Parentheses. It's going to be a pain in the behind. All right. Uh, what does E stand for? David? All right. And I'm going to have to shrink this at some point. What does uh, M stand for? Selma? Multiplication. I'm just going to show it as a multiplication X for now. What does D stand for, uh, Molly? Division. Stands for division. And what's the trick with division and uh, multiplication? They are of equal importance, and so we go from left to right. Okay. What about a, uh, a? I almost said it. My goodness. Tr Tyler? Um, what about S? And again, these two are of equal value. You will do them from left to right. If you use GEMA, obviously it's going to be grouping symbols. So you have parentheses, you can have brackets, or you can have the fun squiggly ones that everyone loves to play, you know, draw. All right. So is everyone with me so far? Yep. OK. So I'm going to shrink this a little bit so that I have room to work. Okay, it doesn't really like the the few that's a, oh, and it's seasick too. There we go. How do you get the to move? I am that good. All right. Hey, listen, I only I, I only specialize in the really cool. There we go. Oh, okay. So now this is the expectation for these problems. We are going to use PEMDAS or GEMA. And every time we do something, we are then going to rewrite the problem, the part that we did not do. So what's the first part of this problem that we are going to do? Josie? Yeah, right, because this part is in the inter, uh, innermost grouping area. So what is negative tw 2 times 25? Max? It's negative 50. So I'm going to write the negative 50 directly underneath the part of the problem that I did. And then I'm going to rewrite absolutely everything that I have not done so far. And this is the expectation that everyone will do, will use. This is the convention. If you're not writing this down right now, there is something wrong. OK. So uh, I'm going to continue. So we have plus, uh, I wanted that to be black. So we have plus 7. On this side, we have divided by 50. We have the parentheses. We still have the 2 times, or sorry, 2 to the second. We still have the subtraction sign, and we have our 10. So I did one step, and I rewrote absolutely everything else out. That is what I expect you to do every time. So now, the next step. The next step, uh, what am I going to do next? What am I going to do next? Jack. 50 divided by negative 50. Yeah. Fi okay. 50 divided by negative 50, which is equal to negative 1. So I'll put that. Let's try that again. So I'll put that right here, negative 1. And then I will rewrite everything else out. So I still have the plus 7. I still have these parentheses. I still have the times 2 squared. And I still have the minus 10 over here. You do, Cooper? Yeah. All right. Cooper, what do we do next? Okay. So, because so, of order of operations, you can add parentheses. So you got to do negative 1 plus 7. That equals positive 6. That does, this does equal positive 6 right in here. There we go. All right. Yeah. 
So I, again, I'm going to beat this like a dead horse. You will write out everything after you do your one step. So if you're not copying this down, there is something wrong. So everyone should be following along. OK. All right. What is my next step, please? Oh, I don't know. Avery. So we have four, and what else will I write? Uh, you will write ten minus six. Ten minus six times four. What is my next step? All right, we're starting to get more hands, which is great. Uh, Eli. Six times four equals twenty-four. Yeah, then you got ten minus twenty-four. All right, and then my last step, the big finish. Who wants? Who wants the big finish? All right, Ben. Oh. You get an, I should do that in red. So you get an answer of negative 14. Now, this is the expectation for always and forever, even after you leave my classroom at the end of next year. You will show your work in this manner. The reason behind it is, if you, you know, you have a ton of steps here. If you do not write out every step and show your work, you, the chances of you not getting it right are fairly high, and we just saw that with our warm-up. As you progress through your mathematical education, the problems are going to get more complicated. So getting in the habit of showing your work in this manner will help you far into college. Yes? We are about setting up good patterns and good habits. <coughs> so a problem does not have to be long to set up to, for, to cement this, uh, this habit. 